A MiG-29 of Bulgaria's Air Force crashed into the Black Sea during a military exercise, and the pilot is missing, the Bulgarian Defense Ministry said on June 9. The ministry said the fighter jet disappeared from radar at 12.45 a.m. local time over the country's territorial waters. A search and rescue operation was launched immediately. On June 10, it was confirmed by the Defense Ministry that Bulgarian Air Force pilot Major Valentin Terziev had died. Terziev had been taking part in a night exercise involving shooting at an airborne target. The reasons for the crash are unclear, but military officials suspended the Shabla 2021 drill. While the crashes of fighter jets are not uncommon, the frequency is concerning, especially when it's faced across different air forces. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian MiG-29 is becoming a headache for the nations operating them. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Bulgaria operates around 15 multi-role variant of MiG-29. Two MiG-29 jets belonging to Bulgaria crashed in 1994 and in 2012. Since joining NATO in 2004, Bulgaria has sought to replace its air fleet of Soviet MiG-29 jets, but financial problems have caused repeated delays. The Balkan country signed a deal in 2019 to buy eight F-16 fighter jets from US-based Lockheed Martin as part of efforts to bring its air force in line with NATO standards. The first of the F-16s are scheduled to be delivered to Bulgaria by 2023. The Mikoyan MiG-29, NATO reporting name Fulcrum, is a twin-engine jet fighter aircraft designed in the Soviet Union. It was developed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as an air superiority fighter during the 1970s. While originally oriented towards combat against any enemy aircraft, many MiG-29s have been furnished as multi-role fighters capable of performing a number of different operations and are commonly outfitted to use a range of air-to-surface armaments and precision munitions. The MiG-29 has been manufactured in several major variants, including the multi-role Mikoyan MiG-29M and the navalized Mikoyan MiG-29K. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the militaries of a number of former Soviet republics have continued to operate the MiG-29, the largest of which is the Russian Air Force. The MiG-29 has been a popular export aircraft. More than 30 nations either operate or have operated the aircraft to date. In September last year, the U.S. Africa Command said that at least two MiG-29 Fulcrum fighter jets, possibly piloted by shady Russian mercenaries, had crashed in Libya. Jared Zuba, the Pentagon correspondent for Al Monitor, tweeted that one of the jets was apparently lost on June 28th, while the other went down on September 7, 2020. This information had come in a statement from Rear Admiral Heidi Berg, U.S. Africa Command's AFRICOM Director of Intelligence. In 2016, a Russian MiG-29K fighter jet had crashed into the Mediterranean Sea as it tried to land on the Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier. It was reported that the aircraft appeared to have mechanical difficulties shortly after takeoff. In 
India has imported 45 MiG-29K fighter jets from Russia. In November last year, the Indian Navy's MiG-29K aircraft crashed. The MiG-29K was flying back to its base in Goa from the aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya. On the 23rd of February last year, a MiG-29K crashed after being hit by birds over Goa. The pilots managed to steer the jet away from habitation and ejected to safety. On the 16th of November 2019, a MiG-29K trainer aircraft crashed outside after both engines failed. Another aircraft was badly damaged after it had veered off the runway while taking off from naval station INS Hansa in 2018. The CAG, or Comptroller and Auditor General of India, had in its 2016 report observed that the MiG-29K, which is a carrier-borne multi-role aircraft and the mainstay of integral fleet air defense, is riddled with problems relating to airframe, RD Mark 33 engine, and fly-by-wire system. The engine was a major source of concern. The CAG audit observed that as of September 2014, a total of 65 engines, 42 with 21 aircraft and 23 spares, had been acquired. However, since its induction in February 2010, 40 engines, representing 62% of 65 engines, had been withdrawn from service or rejected due to design-related defects and deficiencies. The CAG reported noted in 2016, the issue has serious flight safety implications since in-flight engine defects have led to 10 cases of single-engine landings. The latest crash has again put the spotlight on the Russian fighter jet that has had a troubled history, both abroad and in its home country. It's known that Russia is having issues with fighter engines. Having a dependable engine is challenging, and even its most advanced fighter, Sukhoi Su-57, is plagued with this. Sukhoi originally planned to use an advanced derivative of the Saturn AL-31F engine found on its flankers for the Su-57. Su-57 was supposed to have the new AL-41F1 engine, but the AL-41F1 engine ran into technical difficulty and didn't match the required performance criteria. Saturn, the manufacturer, is working on a new and more powerful design known as the Isdali 30 or Product 30, but even this has been facing developmental challenges and may be available for integration at some time in 2025. If a fighter is not reliable and has persistent issues, it will be a headache for operating nations, and MiG-29 certainly gets this unwanted tag.